In our last class, we have already designed a full adder using NAND gates only. In today's class, we will be designing the same full adder using NOR gates only. So let's get started. We know that half adder is a combinational circuit which performs arithmetic addition of two binary digits. And we also know that a half adder has two inputs and two outputs, sum and carry. And we are already familiar with the block diagram where we can see here A and B are the inputs, sum and carry are the outputs. This is the truth table. We are already familiar with the truth table. And we know that in case of half adder, the sum is the XOR operation between two inputs A and B and carry is the AND operation between two inputs A and B. And this is the logical circuit of a half adder where we can see sum is the XOR operation between A and B and carry is the AND operation between A and B. Now let's revise full adder quickly. We know full adder is a combinational circuit which performs arithmetic addition of three binary digits. That means a full adder has three inputs and again two outputs sum and carry. And this is the block diagram of a full adder where we can see we have three inputs A, B and C, I, N. This is carry in or carry input which could be the carry output of previous adder. And again here we have two outputs. Now this is the block diagram representation of a full adder by using two half adders. In the first stage or in case of first half adder we have used A, B these two inputs. So we know sum will be what? Sum will be A XOR B and carry will be what? Carry will be A B and operation and then we are taking this sum as one of the inputs of the second half adder or the half adder at the second stage and the second input of that second half adder is C I N. That means again by obeying the principle of half adder this sum the final sum of the full adder will be what this will be XOR operation between this input and this input so this input is what this input itself is the XOR or XOR operation of the previous half adder which is a XOR b so this will be a XOR b and with that we will have another XOR operation of the second input which is c i n and this will be the carry output of the second half adder so that is AND operation between these two inputs. So it will be A XOR B and with that AND operation of C I N. So this will be carry of the second half adder. But we need to reach to the carry of the of our final full adder. So for that what we have to do we have to take this output and this output and then we have to pass them through an OR gate. So here C out carry output of the final full adder will be what? It will be A XOR B and with that C I N will have AND operation and then we are using OR and this is our second input of the OR gate so it will be plus A B. So this will be the carry output of full adder and we also know that this is the expression of carry output of a full adder that means this expression and this expression are same and that we have already proved in our last class where we have designed full adder using NAND gates. So next when we will be designing a full adder using NOR gates for sum we will be using this expression and for carry out we will be using this expression. Now this is the truth table of a full adder that we are already familiar with. These all are the sum corresponding to the input combination and these are their corresponding carry out. And this is the logical circuit where we can see these are the three inputs. As per the expression or logic of sum and carry we have used this uh, and gets and these are their corresponding outputs. So when this will be added means when we, they will be the inputs of our OR gate then finally we will be getting this expression and this expression is what this expression is the expression of carry and this is a XOR gate here we have used three input XOR gate so this is the the output of that XOR gate will be the sum of a full adder so this is the logical circuit of a full adder 
Now next we will be implementing full adder using NORGES. For that what we will do in the first stage we will be using this circuit where we have used 5 NORGES. Now in this stage we will be using these two inputs A, B. So what will be the output of this NOR gate? A, the two inputs of this NOR gate both are A. So it will be what? It will be A bar or A complement and similarly this will be B complement. And here the same A and B we have used as inputs of this NOR gate. So this will be what? This will be A plus B then bar a complement. So it will be A complement and B complement. This is as per the De Morgan's law that we know. And next what we are doing next here this A complement and B complement we are taking as inputs of this fourth NOR gate in our circuit. So this output will be what? This will be this is the input A bar and this is the another input B bar and we are performing NOR operations so it will be this. So if we simplify further then it will be as per De Morgan's law it will be finally AB that means AND operation and then between this input and this input taking these two inputs we are again performing or using another NOR gate. So this will be what this will be output of that NOR gate fifth NOR gate will be AB plus A bar B bar and then whole complement of that. Now if we simplify further this expression then we are getting finally A B bar plus B A bar and we have again used here simply De Morgan's law and finally that means we are getting A X or B. That means this output of this whole circuit is nothing but A X or B and we know for a half adder the sum is when the inputs are A and B, the sum will be A XOR B. So this is A XOR B. And again, we can also see that at this point, from this point, if we take another output, then output is what? This output is AB. So we can say that this is basically the circuit diagram or the implementation of half adder using NOR gates, where we can say this is the sum and this is the carry. So this output, this point or the output at this point from here we will be getting the sum of a half adder and from this point we will be getting the carry of a half adder. Now what next we will be doing, we will be, we are here implementing a full adder. So this time basically what we are doing, we are implementing full adder by using two half adders. The block diagram representation that we have seen here. So this much we have already done. Now the same design will be implemented in the next stage for another half adder and then the carry output of the second half adder and carry output of the first adder, half adder will be added. So next we will see what we can do and the sum of the second half adder will be the final sum of the full adder. So this thing now we will be implementing in the next stage. So in the next stage again we are repeating this circuit diagram. So this will be another half adder. Since we know the sum output of full adder will be XOR operation between first two inputs A and B and that we will be getting from this point that we have already seen and with that the XOR operation of the second input or the third input of the full adder which will be the second input of this second stage half adder. So this will be our carry in and the way this circuit has performed and finally for some it was the XOR operation between two inputs. Similarly the sum here will be the XOR operation between two inputs where one input or the first input itself is the XOR operation between A and B. So final sum will be this and for carry out what we have seen is that the expression was the second expression we have already seen that it was A XOR B with that CIN was in and operation and then with that the AB was in OR operation. So from this circuit we have to see that how we can implement this expression. Now A XOR B this we already know from here we will be getting that. 
now when we will be performing in this stage the operation of half adder this will be what the output at this point this will be the AND operation between the two inputs that we will be using that means at this stage the output will be AX or B and with that AND with CIN the same logic at this stage when the inputs were A and B the output at this point was what the carry output so it was AB so at this stage when again the same circuit we are implementing we are repeating so at this stage again will be AND operation between two inputs now we need to perform an OR operation with AB so AB from where we will be getting this point the output of at this point is already AB that we know so this input is this and this input is AB and when we will perform OR operation between these two we will be getting C out of the full adder but we cannot perform directly OR operation as we are implementing by using NOR so what we have to do we have to use two NOR gates here so at the first stage we will be using one NOR gate so what will be the output at this stage of this NOR gate it will be A XOR B then and CIN and then OR AB so this is OR but we have used NOR gate so this complement and this complement will vanish by the help of another complement and that we can obtain by the help of another NOR gate so at this stage the output of this NOR gate will be basically the expression of C out means this expression so this is how we can implement a full adder by using NOR gates only and how many NOR gates we have used here in the first stage we have used 5 for one half adder then for the second stage for the another half adder we have used another 5 and then this 2 so total 12 NOR gates we have used here to implement a full adder I hope this class was meaningful and helpful for you with that hope I end today's class thank you